previously on Reunion. This guy that I have a crush on, he's not really an understudy in my play. Sam had a kid in London after high school. You remember Amy, right? The little girl that Carla was the nanny for? That's her. You were with that woman, Samantha. Tell me, what did you two do with my daughter? You wouldn't dare. Of course I would. And no one would convict me. Tommy Will isn't Amy's father. I can't. Then I want you out of here by morning. I'm sorry for not telling you. Sam, I wish I could. Sam, I asked you to meet me here today because I want to know where my daughter is. I don't know. She left New York six years ago with her adoptive mother. You slept with my wife! It was 11 years ago and I felt so guilty about it I went to prison for you. We need to have a talk about your little car accident. Mr. Brewster, mind if I come in? Why not? Henry, can you please excuse us a second? Oh, man, I must say, you have one hell of a place here. I just got two or three more questions, that's all. Fire away? Well, a witness came forward, reported seeing a black Mercedes driving rather erratically about a block away from where I was run down, just moments before it happened. And since I happen to own one of those... I was just down in the garage, checking it out. And you flash a badge. Amazing how cooperative people get. Of course. Why bother with pesky little things like warrants? Oh, you don't need a warrant for things that are in plain sight. You know, brand new windshield, broken glass fragments on the ground, freshly topped off oil. Almost like somebody had come by and fixed a car right here in the garage. You're way past two or three questions, detective. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I had better news for you, but there's no sign of your daughter anywhere. Maybe you're just not looking in the right places. It's been almost a year, Mr. Malloy. I'm, I mean, we can keep doing this. It's your money, but... We will I... keep doing this. As long as she's still out there, we'll keep looking. At least get yourself a new map. I mean, that one's getting a little ragged. The map comes down when I find my daughter. I've got to get to a meeting downtown. What are you doing here? This has to stop, Will. We haven't said a word to each other. Do you know other. where our daughter is? No. And we have nothing to talk about. Hey, look at you. What are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood. Is it always this busy in here? Not running for re-election. I'll slow down once I get another two years banked. How's Jenna? Uh, terrific, yeah. Great. Listen, what is on tap for the birthday party tomorrow? You're turning the big 3-0. I'm not exactly in party mode these days. Look, I know you're bummed about Sam, bro. We all are. But it's time to get back out there. It's been 10 months. I'm just not in the mood, Aaron. Besides, I need to keep my personal life in the background until this election is over. I'm not telling you to move into the Playboy Mansion. All I'm saying is that, you know, at least throw yourself a 30th birthday party. How's this? You supply the loft, have your folks take Henry, and Jen and I will take care of everything. It's done. <laughs> Who the hell would even show up? Sam? No. Will? No. Carla? Maybe. <laughs> Are you worried about a guest list? Watch this. Uh, hello, everyone. Excuse me, can I have your attention, please? Uh, our soon-to-be re-elected congressman is having a birthday party tomorrow, and we need a show of hands of who's coming. Who's in? Thanks. It's pretty high pressure around here sometimes, but it's a good group. In fact, we're almost like a family. I, I, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not excited. We're excited to have you. Your portfolio blew us away. 
I'm surprised your name hasn't popped up on our radar before. Well, that's basically it. I'll be your point person here, so any problems, concerns, questions? Um, come this way. Hey, Paul. I'd like to meet our new photo editor. Paul, this is Carla. Carla, Paul. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to the team. if you want. Please, sit down. First of all, I was as shocked as you were to find ourselves in this situation. I have so many things to apologize to you for, Carla. I don't even know where to begin. I was another person back then. And I'm ashamed. Can you forgive me for what I put you through, Carla? I, I'm not here to make excuses about my past, but I just want you to know that the Paul you knew, the old Paul, is gone for good. And, and I just hope we get together in this office as any other homeowners. So that's all I wanted to say. I don't expect this to be able to turn the page immediately, but in time, hopefully. Are you sure? It's been so many years. I am positive. The eyes, the look on her face, it was Amy. Then he knows where she is. He must. How else would he have a recent photograph of her? I'm gonna find out what he knows. How? I'll search his office. I'll follow him home. I'm... She might be right here in the city with him. Well, you need to be really careful. Hey, Amy is your child, yours and Will's. You have a right to know. Thank you. Dr. Peter Austin, please ICU. Dr. Peter Austin, please ICU. Okay, um, well, thanks anyway. Hey, so apparently finding a caterer with no notice is like next to impossible. <laughs> Craig turning 30. Kind of makes you think, huh? Yeah, we're turning into our parents really quickly. So you'll never believe this, but um, my agent just told me that I've been offered a role in a studio movie. You were? <sighs> yeah, it's not the lead. But... Karen, that's great. I mean, that's what you've been working for. <laughs> There's, uh, there's just one thing. It shoots in New Zealand. Oh. For six months. Maybe longer. Oh. He needs an answer really soon, but I told him I'd have to talk to you about it first. Uh, me? Yeah. I mean, we have been living together for almost two years, and we're more than just roommates, Aaron. You know, Janet, we've had this discussion. No, we have danced around this discussion for a year. You know, it was great when the girls were here because we were like a family, but since they've left... You know what? You're right. But can we just table it until I get this catering thing figured out, please? 